This is without a doubt, probably the best video you could have clicked on if you're looking for fonts, just saying. This is the ultimate font pack with a bunch of new typefaces to explore and enjoy and also just download them all in the description down below while also checking out Font Shelf. If you guys are a fan of fonts, which hopefully are you clicking this video, but if you ever need a way to group them inside of Photoshop, Font Shelf got your back. Fontshelf allows you to group and organize your fonts just incredibly easily with like a nice clean UI. Maybe I'm like a little biased because it's, it's my product, if you didn't know. But yeah, if you want to organize, group your fonts inside Photoshop, I would highly recommend fontshelf.com. And yeah, let's just hop into the video. So let's start off with the font group meant for like your everyday use and also just like type texture. That's sans serifs. Starting with Gloria, this six weight font feels like an elevated playful take on a sans font without pushing too far into like the display type territory. It has a bouncy feel with unique curves on some of the letters for texture that just honestly works. Clean and simple and definitely worth the download. Then you have Ravingston. This font takes its user through a journey of time. I took that straight for the presentation, but it's kind of true. It's a modern sans font that kind of feels like ancient Greek while leading into like the grotesque family while also kind of feel like it works for like an industrial field. It's playful characteristics with deep ink traps for like the hard to read letters, just make it a great daily and something to download. Fudu Display is next. Inspired by Vietnamese hand letter billboards, this Sans offers multilingual support, which always isn't easy to find. It also has six weights, which I tend to use bold the most for like thumbnails a lot of the time. It has clarity in letters with like minor unique flares on some of the letters, and it just, again, it just works. Up next though is Mango, and its claim is actually the only condensed typeface that you will ever need, and I honestly agree. Although I do have about 2K fonts, so like I'm not, Definitely not the demographic for this. However, a really good condensed font that also sits to still be legible is very hard to find sometimes. Given this font actually comes in nine weights and nine different styles, it's pretty gross that it's free, but I love it. I personally also just use this on a client project, so I might be biased, but it's absolutely a dope download. And since we're on the topic of condensed fonts, let's run by like four more. We have Stadium, Bigger, Eternus, and Too Many Cowboys. All genuine must pickups for every reason in the book. Bigger is just an amazing poster, display title, kind of font that also just kind of grabs attention at any distance. Aetonus follows very closely in the same style as Bigger. However, Aetonus has multilingual support, which I know is like big for many artists. So I think it's a really good alternative as well. Stadium is just a classic condensed feel where honestly, maybe hard to see in other scenarios, but for like some bold condensed like type texture, it just works wonders. And too many cowboys, I haven't found the right place for this, but I know it exists, okay? On to display fonts though, starting with X Show. Why? Because I thought there isn't many fonts with this style that actually look good and are probably usable. It's an all caps hand-drawn style font with these marks on each letter to give it more texture and it just looks dope. Also, as I'm recording this video, the actual presentation only has like 200 views. Use. And to be honest, that's crazy because you can be the first one to actually use it. So that's a W in my book. We have Skiffer next. And while we're on the topic of hand-drawn, there probably isn't another font that explores angles and curves the way that this does. Each character, in my opinion, is super unique and oddly, you expect it to also probably not be as legible, but it, it kind of is. I'd give it like a 7.1 on like the readable scale, which is, I think, eh, you know. I will also say that the way it is displayed just shows the industrial, futuristic, and texture use cases this font could excel in. However, now for one of my favorite font groups in my font shelf, I call them my sinister fonts. Or say Arc, Medina, and Angst. They each have these dope senses of style and edge that almost kind of make them feel sinister, as if they deserve to be like a title poster and like a dope apparel concept or like an album cover, but at the same time, like an elegant design approach with like Swiss style projects. I've definitely used every single one of these at least once for something, and it's just sexy. I think you just have to pick them up, in my opinion, and also just group it the same way I did in my font shelf. Can you tell I like font shelf? Now, for the most emotional typeface in the face of history, it probably goes to Four Mom. As you'd probably expect from the name, it's a dedicated font to the artist's mother, and it left one of the most prettiest serif fonts in her name. It conveys a mood so easily that it scares me. If you don't have like many serif fonts, you probably need Four Mom. And lastly, I want to end it off with these two fonts, Alinsa and Scary Club. Both these fonts I have grouped under the same category because I just think they work so well together. I recently just used Scary Club in an apparel piece and Alinsa for like fun projects, but I don't think I have to sell you on scary club because it's just one of those ones that just like looks pretty dope from like first glance you just want to get it even if you don't even know how to use it and i also think alinsa follows the same thing so with that that is the end of the video here today now i also have a lot of other fonts that are in this font pack today so just for the record here they are i didn't go through every single one because that would be a ridiculously long video but as always you can download it in the description down below right now and also don't forget to support all the artists if they have like little behance pages leave a like all that good stuff free fonts for both personal and commercial use are like kind of it's kind of crazy and we love them for it because otherwise we'd just be having some boring Helvetica. I don't have anything against Helvetica or like future.
Futura, but Lord, there's so many cool typefaces, okay? And don't forget, you can group them with Fonshell, fonshell.com. Genuinely, I mean, the support that we had last week for the launch was insane. And I just want to say, I appreciate you guys. And hopefully now you can start grouping your fonts together, but also let me know if you guys got it, tweet me, tweet me your shelves. I want to see it. But with that, Senso HQ out. So don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I don't much love. Peace, enjoy your day. And uh, yeah, I love you. Peace.